Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, every good deed that children of Adam do gets multiplied between 10 to 700 times. Allah said, except for fasting, it is for me and I shall reward for it. This hadith indicates the greatness of the reward of fasting. No one knows its real value except Allah. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, fasting and the Quran try to help out Allah's servant on the day of judgment. Fasting says, oh my Lord, I have kept him away from his food and desires during the day. So allow me to intercede for him. And the Quran says, I have kept him away from sleep during the night. So allow me to intercede for him. Then both intercessions get accepted. May Allah make us of the people of Quran and fasting. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever fasted Ramadan out of faith and hope, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Fasting out of faith means to believe that fasting is a religious obligation and a pillar of Islam. And out of hope means to be hopeful in Allah that He will reward you for your sacrifices. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, when any one of you gets up in the morning in the state of fasting, he should not say any foul and bad language nor do any inappropriate act of ignorance. And if anyone curses him or seeks to fight with him, then he should say, I am fasting, I am fasting. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, fasting is a shield against the hellfire, just like the shield one uses during a battle. This hadith means that our fasting will serve as a protection and a barrier from hell and from the things that leads us to it. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if somebody eats something forgetfully while he is fasting, then he should complete his fast. For the one who made him eat and drink was Allah. This hadith shows Allah's greatness and gentleness and kindness to his servants. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, May he be humiliated, the one who witnesses the entire month of Ramadan and does not end up being forgiven. This hadith shows that he is a loser, the one who is lazy in worshipping Allah in Ramadan and does not take it seriously. And as a result, loses on the opportunity to be forgiven. May Allah assist us in worshipping Him correctly in Ramadan. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to break his fast, he used to say, The thirst is gone. And the veins are moist. وَثَبَتَ الْأَجْرُ إِنْ شَاءَ الله. And the reward is guaranteed by the will of Allah. So, O oh, you who struggles and fast, you have the right to be optimistic in getting the reward from Allah. May we reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Have sahur, for there are blessings in it. And the meaning of have sahur is, have a meal during the sahur time which is right before dawn. And do not see the waking up for sahur as a burden. Perhaps Allah because of it will strengthen you and bless you throughout the day. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, at the time of breaking the fast, Allah chooses people who will be freed from the hell fire and never ever enter it. And that happens every single night. I pray to Allah for you and I to be of those whom Allah chooses to be freed from hell forever. Amen. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I swear by the one whom my soul is in his hands 
the smell that comes from the mouth and the breath of the one fasting, i.e. due to their empty stomachs, is more beloved to Allah than the smell of musk, a high-end perfume. Allahu Akbar. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased by him, said, the Prophet وسلم, used to break his fast before he prayed with fresh dates. If there were no fresh dates, then he would break the fast with dried dates. And if there were no dried dates, then he would take a few sips of water. May Allah send his peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad said, there are people who fast and the only outcome they get from their fast is being hungry. And there are those who pray at night and the only outcome they get from their prayers is a sleepless night. So brothers and sisters, this is possibly because either they did not have a correct intention or their fast and prayers were accompanied by so much sin. May Allah help us. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased by both of them, said, The Prophet وسلم, was the most generous person ever, and his generosity would reach its peak in Ramadan, when Angel Jibreel would meet him. So brothers and sisters, let's aim to increase our generosity more and more in the upcoming Ramadan, inshaAllah. May Allah bless you all. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The five daily prayers, and from one Friday prayer to the next Friday prayer, and from one Ramadan to the next Ramadan, erases the sins committed in between, so long the person avoids the major sins. So brothers and sisters, all the minor sins that we've done since last Ramadan will be forgiven, inshaAllah, had we witnessed the upcoming Ramadan. For that we pray, may we reach Ramadan. The Prophet وسلم, had a dream where he said, I saw a group of people who were being hung from the back of their feet. The sides of their mouth was torn and blood was pouring from their mouth. I asked, i.e. the angels, who are these people? They said, these are people who without justification broke their fast before it was time. May Allah keep us steadfast. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, There are three whose supplication is never turned down. The dua of a just ruler and a fasting person when he breaks his fast and the supplication of the oppressed. Allah will raise it up to the clouds on the day of judgment and the gates of heaven will be opened for it. And Allah says, I swear by my power and might, I will help you even if it is after some time. Hamza ibn Amr al-Aslami, may Allah be pleased with him, said, O Messenger of Allah, I find strength in me to fast while traveling. Is there anything wrong with that? Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, It is a concession from Allah, i.e. to not fast while traveling. He who takes advantage of it, then it is good for him. And he who prefers to fast, then there's no sin upon him. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Performing Umrah during Ramadan is equivalent in reward to performing Hajj. This hadith indicates that the reward of a deed increases when it is performed in a highly valued time, in this case Ramadan. I pray to Allah to allow you and I to witness the entire month of Ramadan. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Whoever prayed during the nights of Ramadan out of faith, knowing it's a blessed act of worship, and out of hope that Allah will reward you for your efforts, then all his past sins will be forgiven. So brothers and sisters, don't let a night pass by without praying your night prayers. Aisha, may Allah be pleased by her, said, when the last 10 nights of Ramadan start, the Prophet وسلم, used to tighten his waist belt, meaning take the worship of Allah so serious and to another level. And he used to stay up late at night doing so.
and he used to wake his family up to worship Allah during the night. May we reach the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Aisha, may Allah be pleased by her, said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what dua should I make if I witness the night of decree? He said, Say, O oh Allah, you are Al Afu, you love to forgive. So forgive me. Brothers and sisters, the Afu is the one who erases your sins, does not punish you for it, and the one who gives you what you asked for and more than what you asked for. This is Allah Al Afu. May we reach Laylatul Qadr. Alayhi Wasallam said, Whoever does not let go of lying and evil actions, then Allah is not in need of his fasting from food and drink. The hadith does not mean that the one who lies and does evil while fasting should now just break his fast. Rather, this hadith is a warning on how these actions ruin the reward of fasting. May Allah make us people of truth. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The people, the believers, will remain in goodness and honor as long as they are quick in breaking their fast. And this hadith shows that following the way of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is what makes us be in good status in this life and afterlife. Also, breaking the fast without delay saves our energy and lifts the hardship. May we follow the way of Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad said, Whoever provides food to a fasting person to break their fast with, then they will be rewarded with the same reward as the fasting person, and nothing from his reward will be decreased. This hadith encourages people to feed others. The Prophet was asked, What are some of the best actions in Islam? He said, Feeding the people and greeting those whom you know and do not know. May Allah help us feed the people. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, Whoever prayed during the night of decree Al-Qadr out of faith and hope, then all his past sins will be forgiven. Praying out of faith means to pray while believing in how blessed this night is and that it's better than a thousand months, all while hoping for the pleasure of Allah alone. Had you missed praying during the first night of Ramadan, then make sure not to miss praying the night of decree. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, There is a gate in paradise called Ar-Rayyan. Those who fast will enter it on the day of resurrection, and only them will enter it. It will be said, Where are those who used to fast? So they will get up and enter through it. And after the last person enters, the gate will be locked and no one else will enter. May Allah allow us to enter through that gate. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, On the first night of Ramadan, the devils are shackled and the evil jinn are restrained. The gates of hell are closed, not one is opened. And the gates of paradise are opened, not one is closed. And a caller calls, O seeker of good, come near. And O seeker of evil, stop. And there are those whom Allah chooses to free from hell, and that is every night. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, There are two moments of happiness for the fasting person. A happy moment when he breaks his fast, and a happy moment the day he meets his Lord. Brothers and sisters, may Allah make your best day the day you meet Allah. Our series has come to an end. Thank you so much for your support. And remember to apply and share the knowledge. And stay tuned for a new series, inshallah. Ramadan Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum.